Students aren't allowed in here, are they? There are things in the Forbidden Corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. And don't go trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Now be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time. said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the Forbidden Corridor. Well, Mrs. Norris and I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. I see. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. But we have ways of dealing with interlopers. 
You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans. Can you, Mr. Finch? No, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry.
Harry, you distract the troll and I'll find Hermione. 